Archeriet kommer han. En sensation han dyker upp på Olympia i Los Angeles. Mohammed Benaziza. Compulsory poses. What do we look for here, Arnold? Well, uh, Doug, uh, this is a very, very important round because when you have yeah, to show your compulsory yeah. poses, that means that there are certain poses that you can get around, regardless if you have a weak point in the area or not. So this is where you get really out of the microscope, where they look at every single body part, and that's where you expose the strong points and the weak points. At the completion of round two, the field is cut to the top ten. Several hours later, the evening session begins with a free posing round. Mohammed. Benaziza. Ooh, a slow, deliberate approach for Mohamed Benaziza. 32-year-old, originally from Algeria, now living in France. And Arnold, at 5'2", Benaziza, the shortest man of the competition. The question begs to be asked, can the shorter man successfully compete against the taller men? Definitely, and we have seen that with Franco Colombo way back, my old training partner. I think that if you have the proportions and the size, because where it is dangerous is when you stand next to the big guy. And there are certain tricks that those guys are using now where they stay away from the big guys. So in the free posing, this is a chance to show your best, of course. Benaziza off to a slow pace, it seems. It's really interesting because in the old days we always came out like wild lions and just hit <laughs> one pose after the other to really arouse the audience. Now they're coming out with all, all these slow poses and these dramatic kind of uh, routines and turns and all this stuff and heavy music. It's a different thing. Now wait a minute, Arnold. You refer to yourself as a lion? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Tremendous definition when you think about it. Look at the intercastles, look at the serratus, the wonderful proportion that he has, and the way he uses it, he uses it, he uses it very wisely. He looks very proportionate. I just love when a guy has this muscularity like this and he hits the most muscular pose and the lat spread and all those different shots. He did really well. Look at those triceps. Mohamed Beneziza finishing his routine. He looks rather pleased and asking for a little encouragement from the audience. Is that to influence the judges, Arnold? It does sometimes, and that's why they always do a second routine and get the audience up there. Here we see it in slow motion. Fabulous. Look at he's showing his triceps and his bicep development. Boy, at 5'2", Beneziza packs a heck of a punch. He should be uh, high up there, but it just doesn't have uh, the rest of it. And now for the... Announcement coming up that Sonny Schmidt, he's in third. And it comes down to these two men for the championship. $75,000 on the line. And the winner of the 1992 Arnold Classic, Vince Taylor. There's your champion, Vince Taylor. Now he must be extremely happy now because finally he made it. Last year he came third. He felt disappointed about it last year. This year, you know, he trained the whole year really hard. Look at the enthusiasm of the crowd. I think that the, the, the people that are behind him, the bodybuilders uh, see him as the winner. He himself is extremely happy now. I know what it feels like when you train the whole year really hard. It's and, fantastic. And Mohammed Benaziza, of course, placing second, the shortest man in the competition, really comes through in the clutch.
Moi, je, je fais partie quand même des dix meilleurs professionnels du monde. Mais vous savez, chaque année, il y a des nouveaux athlètes qui arrivent, de meilleure forme, meilleure qualité. Et je, je souhaite par, euh, faire partie des six finalistes. Mais bon, je me suis battu jusqu'à maintenant, je ne vais pas baisser les bras. Back. Maximo's back.